what's going on everyone welcome back to another episode it's your boy uche shout out to every single person who has recently followed me on tiktok and if you're not following me on tiktok please run over to tiktok and check me out at ltau with uche and to the people who have been following me on tiktok you probably noticed that about two months ago i released a video that went viral um, in this particular video, I was talking about DL black men, but specifically DL Nigerian men who live in Nigeria, but they come to the West to play. As of today, this video has about 93,000 views, I believe, maybe even more. And even till today, I'm still getting comments on that particular video. And I still have people reaching out to me in the DMs, asking questions. And one of the questions that people have been asking is, how do you identify a DL man? And I know that, you know, the comments, there's so many comments and I, I, I was responding responding to a lot of them and I just I stopped because it was just too much so I decided to come out here and talk about this particular topic because it seems like a lot of people are affected but then also not a lot of people are familiar with DL so before I get started I do want to clarify what DL means so DL is a uh, short for down low and down low is a slang for men who typically sleep with other men they are not out they're not comfortable with their sexuality they're not out but instead of you know remaining in the closet they go out and date women as well some of these people have girlfriends, have wives, have children. Um, so the difference between a closet case and a DL man is a closet case gay is somebody who is still, you know, not in terms with their sexuality yet. You know, they may have a few people within their circle, maybe a few family members who know about them. But for the most part, they're still on the low. They're not really, they're not talking about their sexuality. Not everyone knows about them. And, and they're still operating within their community. And then whereas you have the DL man, the DL man is someone who has not come in terms with their sexuality yet and instead of them dating within their community they're also going outside the community and dating women uh, having sex with women sleeping with women and having children with women and starting families so that's the main difference between DL and, and closet case and um, like I said one of the biggest questions that a lot of people kept asking in that uh, particular video that went viral is how do you identify a DL man so there are so many different ways to identify a DL man and I may be addressing some of these um, signs and some of these characteristics in different videos but for today I do want to address one overt homophobia now, in a heteronormative society and in a heteronormative world, uh, homophobia is bound to occur. You know, basically homophobia is just basically aversion towards homosexuality, you know, or, or um, anything that has to do with same-sex agenda, same-sex same encounter. You know, that is that is inevitable, you know. And the issue, like I've always talked about in m many episodes, is the ego. You know, if inferiority is superior to complex, as long as the ego exists, so humans will always find a reason to tell you that I'm better than you. I'm better than you because I'm black and you're not. I'm better than you because I'm white and you're not. I'm better than you because I'm a man and you're not. I'm better than you because I'm straight and so on and so forth. You know, so it's understandable that homophobia is inevitable in our society. I get it. And of course, a lot of cultures use uh, religion, whether it's uh, Christianity, Islam, and so on and so forth to back up their um, homophobia and so on. So it's understandable. That's not the type of homophobia I'm talking about. I'm talking about overt homophobia, especially when it has there's no sense to it it's not necessary a download person is more likely to just just start a conversation about homosexuality in the most vile way you know like it's uncalled for it may be him and his girlfriend are sitting down and just chilling and a gay guy passes by i understand some straight guys may show distaste for that type of behavior and then they move on but this download person goes on to just to be so vile and just belittle that person it's almost very egotistic almost like almost as though they're trying to prove something so while the straight guy may have some type of comment and move on you know it may be a quick comment homophobic comment and move on you know with his girlfriend or whatever it is but the the dl guy goes in like it becomes a topic it's almost as though if you were an invisible person in the vicinity just watching this encounter it's almost as though the dl guys take it a personal like it's unnecessary there's no reason for you to just go all in on this person it's just you like it or you don't like it either way you move on the reason why i'm talking about this particular quality is because the truth is that a lot of straight people actually don't care about your sexuality yes especially the younger ones maybe the older older generation you know the older people who keep talking about the good old days how things were better when they were younger and and now the word is going shit yes i get those those are the exceptions but most young people especially within their 20s 30s maybe even 40s don't care a lot of them don't care you know yes they're still 
subtle undertone of homophobia here and there, which is a trickle down effect of the society we live in, maybe religion, you know, geographic location and so on and so forth. But the truth is that most straight people don't care. As long as one, the topics that come out of your mouth all the time is not gay related because no one wants to hear anything that has nothing to do with them. Me, for example, I don't watch football. You know, um, if I'm hanging out with one of my buddies and he is a, a big football fan, I don't mind once in a while, you know, he, him referencing about his football team and things like that. But if literally every single time we hang out and he's constantly talking about football, 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 that would just turn me off. You know, like, dude, I'm not trying to hear this. Same thing too, if you're hanging out with a gay person, a gay person doesn't want to hear you talk about your female escapades all the time. It gets annoying, like, dude, do you have, don't you have anything else to talk about? So that's one. As long as everything that comes out of your mouth is not just gay related all the time, a straight person doesn't necessarily care. Secondly, as long as you don't hit on them, nobody wants to be hit on by somebody that they're not attracted to myself included the thing is when somebody that you're not attracted to hits on you and they're very persuasive and they don't know how to lay, lay low that becomes annoying and this is common sense here nobody wants to be pursued by someone that they're not attracted to i mean think about it if someone who you're not attracted to keeps hitting on you or hits on you the first time i get it the first time you probably tell them hey i'm not interested and they, they're supposed to move on but if that person is not listening to what you're saying they keep coming back to chase you to pursue you you know it becomes offensive and at that point you have to check them rightfully so so a straight person is straight obviously because they're attracted to the other gender the opposite gender so you the same gender as a straight person hitting on them will make them uncomfortable this is human this has nothing to do with homophobia so to repeat as long as these two things are present a straight person doesn't care about your sexuality again one as long as you're not talking about gay stuff all the time and secondly as long as you're not trying to get with them because again no one wants that but the interesting thing with the DL guys that these things don't even have to be present there doesn't even have to be a gay person in sight they're constantly referencing homosexuality or gay people you know maybe something to do with a gay person that was cited a few days ago last week this dl person will constantly bring that topic up in a very vile way a lot of times this is a very manipulative tactic to see how you feel about the topic to know if you the other person in the room is homophobic or not so they know how to act around you you know to know if you're comfortable with them or if you're not and secondly this irrational homophobia is actually a reflection of how they feel about themselves they hate themselves so much they hate the fact that they're being very deceptive they're hiding who they are and they're not able to live and express their lives as as they wish they could so that internalized anger eventually becomes externalized and they just spew so much vile and negativity all around them and lastly the reason why they do this is because they're actually quite jealous you have to understand there's a lot to be gay um i do understand that in this part of the world in the western world you know we're a lot more accepting people who are able to express who they are and live their lives to the fullest and yes shout out to everyone man and woman who is living out their lives openly but not everyone has gotten this memo there's still a lot of people who are in the closet who are in the uh, who have not had the courage to live their lives truly and authentically so the dl person is actually quite scared so a lot of times when they see a gay person or a lesbian who is living their lives openly there's actually a little bit of jealousy there you know which is why a lot of times you see a dl person go so in on a gay person who has done nothing wrong especially an effeminate gay man or maybe a more masculine uh, lesbian woman you know for no just reason a lot of times is a reflection of how they feel about themselves uh they're actually jealous of that person because that person is able to do something that they're not able to do they're living a double life and that person is living the life that they wish they could have so that's it today i just wanted to come out here to talk about that one particular trait that dl people have uh, a lot of people have been asking me in that video that went viral some of the signs to tell if a man is dl this is one of the signs once again overt homophobia for no reason you know again homophobia is something that is very common especially depending on what part of the world you live in religion and so on and so forth however a dl person seems to not have a just cause to be extremely homophobic it's almost as though they're trying to prove something that they're not like dude it's uncalled for it's not a big deal this is something that happened two days ago let it go again if you're not following me on tiktok please go ahead and check me out on tiktok ltau with uche please make sure to download subscribe share with your friends and family and i'll see you guys on the next episode peace out